everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm going to be doing a quick review for Evertried on the Xbox consoles. Now this was released on the 21st of October 2021, developed by Lunic Games and published by Dangan Entertainment and I was lucky enough to get a copy of this for this video so big thank you to them for sending me that. Uh, I have enjoyed it immensely. Now Evertried is a roguelite game uh, which means you're going to have a lot of death in this game you're going to have a lot of restarting and building it up and up but it's worth it when you get there now compared to something like the other sort of roguelike and roguelite games i've played recently such as sort of hades and stuff like that this one is much more of like a turn-based sort of strategic semi-rpg style game where you're basically on a grid and you take it in turns moving around and as you move your enemy then moves and when you attack they can attack next etc so um, not only do you have the aspect of obviously if you die having to restart from the bottom and work your way up again you also have like the more slower paced but each floor is much more sort of like methodical thinking how can i beat these how can i do this how can i do that etc now the the enemies like I say if you do die and you do restart the are randomized the levels are randomized uh, but like i say you get used to the enemy patterns of each of the enemies so bit by bit you will uh, end up improving now the plot of the game is very there isn't much to it basically you just sort of um there you're in like the you've died and it's like oh right you've got to sort of prove yourself basically um and that's it off you go you get like a quick tutorial and then you're in the main game now there are 50 floors to get through uh, which are split into five areas now each of the five areas introduce new types of enemies and they get more complex and harder as you progress and as you're sort of progressing through these areas, there are floors that are shop floors where you basically can acquire uh, you can acquire um, health, skills, and modifiers, um, and you buy them with shards, which you collect from killing enemies basically in the levels. Now, as you can see in the top right corner, you also have a sort of focus bar. Now, this is basically like a combo bar. The more you kill and get through them at a quicker pace, um, the more shards you get basically. So the better you get, the more shards you get, which you can then spend on upgrades. Now, as with roguelike games, if you do die, you will lose your most of your things. So your modifiers and stuff, you will lose but you do gain any of your sort of skill uh, improvements and your sort of leveling up on your skills for your next run which is um, makes it easier as you go along now the graphics are really nice pixel graphics it's got a nice sort of soundtrack the enemy designs are really um, varied as well i quite like that um, my only downside was i thought the control scheme is a bit iffy when you get started i mean once you've played it for a while you get used to it but it, it's a bit awkward when you you begin and you can invert it but that didn't make it much better so i highly recommend just sort of getting used to the the right directions because obviously it's like up down left right but on the screen in front of you it's in like a diagonal um position and a few times when i first started playing i wasn't very good because i kept getting the directions wrong but that might just be me being useless basically now um like i say you do also have like a dash ability which moves you sort of double um so like i say enemies normally move like one square to begin with uh but you can move two with your dash you can sort of pre-plan to get yourself in the right position to do the right attacks at the right time and stuff like that you can take a couple of hits before uh your masks destroy and you die and then obviously you start back at floor one but like i say it's a really fun little game uh as sort of roguelites go i'm not a big fan of them normally I, I i don't like that sort of loop but this one wasn't too bad i like the sort of more turn based and the sort of puzzle aspect to it over just sort of the hack and slash you get in other roguelites now the game is available right now uh, on xbox one xbox series x and s and it does have 4k resolution and it's normally priced at 16 pound and 74 pence on the xbox store but it's currently on sale right now i'm not sure how much longer but you save two pound 52 and you get it at 14 pound and 22 pence so like i say uh if you like these sort of games and you like that sort of 
repetitive loop. You like the sort of um, the the graphical style, and like I say, you want a bit of a challenge because, like I say, getting to floor 50 is I found it quite difficult. But I'm not huge into these games, but there's a lot to it. But that's that for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon for more videos, guys. Bye for now.